Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is video true and welcome to Overcrowd, a game which everybody sing along. I've had my eye on for a while. And this game, oh, I've been looking forward to this one. This is basically a London Underground Station builder and management simulator tycoon sort of a thing. So, oh yes. Oh yes, yes, yes. But before we begin, early access game, not feature complete, still work in progress, diddly diddly dee. So, first up, we need to actually build a station, because right now there's basically nothing here, just a bit of floor to start us off. And obviously, the track is going to be in a predetermined place, because we're building a station onto an existing line. So you don't lay out the track, the track has got to be in certain fixed locations, and customers are also going to be coming from fixed locations too. Some from over here, and some from over here. Now as this is the first mission in the campaign, we're not actually digging underground on this occasion. Instead, it's all going to be overground. So you're probably thinking, well, that certainly makes things nice and easy. And the game tells you where the trains are going to be. This all looks lovely and simple. No, this game will kick your ass and then wear your ass as a hat. This game is brutally difficult, as we're probably going to find out any bloody second now. But for the time being, let's just get the basic set up here. So, first things first, we need to extend our station out to, uh, there we go, an actual connection over there. And now we've extended the station a bit, we need to slap down one entrance point right there. Beautiful. Marvellous. So, now we've got an entryway. Though the station's not open yet, we don't want to be opening it just yet. We're not quite ready for that business. Now, you might be thinking, right, now we just hook up the other one. No! No, you don't. You start small and you work up to the other one. Because, as the name of the game might imply, overcrowding is the biggest problem you will face. Do not let too many people into your station until you are bloody well ready for it. Instead, let's just actually dig out the space we need to get ourselves one basic train going on. So yeah, in order to get a train down, you need to own all the land of the track and one space either side as well. So there we go, now we've actually built all that land and we can get down one platform. Beautiful. So, we've got ourselves a platform, but we need to start off nice and sensible and small here. So, platform one doesn't want to actually operate on both sides. Instead, we want to only have a platform this side. So people both alight and disembark on this side over here, and we're not going to use this space for anything just yet. So I've already spent nearly half my money. At the beginning of the game, all you want is the absolute bare minimum. And what we need really is turnstiles to let people in, turnstiles to let people out, and ticket machines. Because this is set like pre-Oyster card or something, so everybody has to actually buy tickets. And you want to make sure everything is laid out to deal with the problems of overcrowding. So let's have one turnstile over here. And then we'll have another turnstile over here, as far away as possible from the first turnstile. And then we'll just put some nice fences between them. One turnstile will do for the time being. And once again, we need to specify what they actually do. Here we go. This here is going to be a turnstile that leads to platform one, the only platform. This turnstile over here, this is going to be an exit turnstile. So it's going to be signed accordingly, and people can only go through it in the appropriate direction. As a result of that, people leaving the train will now be nowhere near those queuing to get in. So that should make things much easier. We're also going to be needing, I'd say probably two ticket machines is fine as a starting point. And I'd rather have them on opposite sides of the concourse so people aren't queuing next to each other. People are also going to be unhappy if there's litter by the way, so let's just actually slap down some bins. And finally, all of this is going to need power which needs to be locally generated. So what I'm going to do is, yeah, just create a little kind of extra room over here, which can just be my lovely power room. Actually, you know what? I'll have my important staff rooms around here, so they're not getting in the way of these high traffic areas. And on top of that, I'm going to shuffle the actual leaving gate, so it's not pressed against the wall, just to make sure there's a bit more space. Because once again, overcrowding, thing to watch. Now, utilities. So just shove that right there, give it a door, that's legit, and a tool room over here for my staff, they're going to be needing that sooner or later. Now slap down a couple of generators, that's probably enough to actually get us started, together with a fuel barrel because generators need fuel. Now you may notice that everything else is looking a bit spartan, there's no tools, there's no commerce, there's very little we can do. That's because you unlock it as you go using bonds. You start off with two bonds and then you have to start actually transporting people to earn more. So I'll get another bond as soon as a single person gets aboard a train and then naffs off. But after that it starts getting exponentially more expensive. You need to ship more and more people to keep the bonds coming in. 
But as I start off with a couple of bonds, yeah, let's actually have lights because people being able to see is a good idea. And how about a nice uncomfy chair for my staff? We're going to specifically go out of our way to buy uncomfortable chairs. Marvellous. And actually, yeah, it looks like we can't put lights on the platform, just on the concourse. So I'm going to extend the platform out just another layer, because then we can actually have lights, and also it's a bit less crowded. Okay, that'll probably do as a starting point. Right now we don't have any staff, because, you know, we can't afford those. So, screw it, we'll just have to do without. Instead, uh, it's time to open up our station to the world! Marvellous. Has everything got power, by the way? Yes, everything is just about powered. Hang on, there's... No, there's not quite enough power. There we go, we've now got enough power, so people can start figuring this out. Person there goes and buys a ticket, and if they want to actually make their way over to the platform, they have to go through this spot right here. So there we go, people buying tickets, going through, a train will be arriving momentarily. Now unfortunately, for the time being, it's not much of a train. I need to actually manually summon them. We're doing manual signalling. So, uh, four people are going to get off and try and leave the station. Four people are then going to try and get on too. Three people board, four people board, and as soon as the fourth person is actually boarded, the train will be on its way. Because this train doesn't actually work like normal trains. It waits to be full before it naffs off. Now, you may have noticed that immediately the station is looking massively overcrowded. Yes, yes it is. So, we need to sort that out immediately. Fortunately, the first few customers provide a bunch of bonds. So, the first thing you're going to want to buy, absolutely definitely, is the double carriage train. So, twice as many people can be shipped at any one moment. Definitely get that done right now. Next up, we're going to be wanting a staff member. I think we should be able to just about afford one of them. Yes, one staff member, two bonds. Beautiful. And Chloe Taylor here is very good with people, which is very important because... As soon as we get ourselves another bond, yeah, we're going to be needing her to do something with people. Hello there, Taylor. Welcome aboard. So, people are now actually waiting to actually arrive and... Okay, hang on. Why have we got problems with power again? Right, we need more flipping power. Here we go. Minimum power 3.9 kilowatts per second. Right now we can do three. Right, so each generator is producing one. Another generator should do the job for now. But we are kind of, yeah, running low on money. Really low on money. You know what? I'm going to just put another one in just for safety. There we go. Job done. That should be plenty of power for everybody. Another train is about to arrive. But... The train doesn't actually have enough capacity for everybody already on the station. So we need to start making sure people are nice and happy because they're going to have to wait a little bit and more people get on board. And there we go. More and more bonds coming in. Lovely. So important tool, level one megaphone, because apparently if you just yell at people with a megaphone, then they're happier with crowds and they're totally chill about everything. So that's just marvellous. People are also going to start leaving litter around and people are not going to be happy about that. So we're going to be wanting ourselves a level 1 litter picker as well. So as a result of that, Taylor can get on with picking up litter and yelling at customers. And let's also get a jerry can in so that, yeah, my staff can actually grab fuel and use it to refill the generators. We're going to be needing that sooner or later. Lovely. So now just slap down some money on those new tools that go in this little room over here. So one jerry can, one litter picker and one megaphone. And Taylor, because she's actually pretty good at her job, she can actually have, yeah, two tools simultaneously. So Taylor... Go and help yourself to the megaphone, please. And then start shouting at people. Okay, so Taylor's now got both of those things. And because her tasks are laid out like this, she prioritises yelling at people with the megaphone. Then as a secondary concern, tries to pick up litter. So now people should be a bit happier about this whole situation. And hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, train incoming. Right, don't miss the trains arriving. Happiness right now is at 67%. Everybody on board the train, please. Some people would like to sit down. I would love to be able to let you sit down. Can't do that just yet. We'll work on that in future, all right? Unfortunately, these people are clearly not native Londoners because if they were, they would know exactly where the train stopped and be ready to actually jump on it the moment it arrived. And in order to move on to the next station, I need to ultimately ship 107 people, which isn't that difficult in terms of numbers, but is rather difficult in terms of overcrowding means you will fail. Hit 0% satisfaction, you're done. Here we go. One nice uncomfortable bench. Everybody can have some lovely uncomfortable benches. 
And we'll also have newspaper stands and newspaper boards, just so we're making a bit more money from sales. Let's just get them set up too. Here we go. So we can have a newspaper stand. Yeah, that can be over here. And the newspaper board can actually be... Where do I want that? That can actually be all over the place. Because, yeah, newspaper billboard, that actually gets me, yeah, money for every 10 views. And also makes it more likely people will buy newspapers. So I'll actually have, yeah, just a couple of them dotted about. Because why not? And benches actually do need an empty space in front of them. So what I'm actually going to do is, uh, yeah, I'm going to extend this platform out just a little bit so there's space enough for benches. So we've now got benches, we've now got newspapers for sale, billboards around here, plenty of things for people to read, to do, etc. Probably need another staff member, by the way, because, yeah, right now Chloe Taylor is actually working a 24-hour shift, which is probably a little bit on the excessive side. So Adam is going to work whenever Chloe is not. And his job's going to be maintenance. He's actually going to do the jerry can business. And there we go. So Taylor goes and relaxes over there. Absolutely spot on. We've got no more trains coming in for the time being. But no one's feeling too panicked about the overcrowding. Admittedly, some people over there are yelling about overcrowding. But you know what? Mostly, they're chill. Because the benches are keeping them spaced out. So they're feeling okay. By the way, Smith... Would you like to, yeah, go over here and just refuel these generators? That'd just be absolutely flipping marvellous. And, oh, there's a train coming. And uh, we've got a full concourse bin. Right, yes, I'll deal with that momentarily because now apparently bins are starting to overflow. So that's going to be a thing momentarily. Everything's fine. People get off the train. Other people get on the train, please. Everybody on the train, I need more flipping bonds in order to actually purchase the wheelie bin to empty out the bins. Alright, so another train fills up, everybody's happy, three bonds, right, procurement, here we go, level one wheelie bin, so get that purchased, good, 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 and here we go, let's actually make sure that, you know, my staff don't actually die, because apparently they don't go home, they just live in the staff room when they're not working. And we've just about got enough power for the new vending and water machine, so yeah, they should start receiving power momentarily, hopefully at least. Okay, utility room's a bit extended, so there's now a level 1 wheelie bin. So, at the start of every morning, don't worry, it's the afternoon right now, we'll work on that. And yes, I know I'm running out of money, it's fine. Right, bring in more trains, uh, people are happy for the time being, so I've got a nice banked up bit of happiness for when they get frustrated about the fact that they have actually been standing on this platform literally all day, and never actually seem to get anywhere. Also, I'm going to actually set up a second megaphone, so yes, yeah, Smith can have one during the shift he's on. So, uh, Smith, go and pick that up, please. And then, yeah, go and shout at people once you're done. There we go. So he's now just yelling at people and everybody's happy about it. More trains should be arriving momentarily. You want a seat? Well, then sit down. There you go. You figured it out, you daft bastard. And night has fallen, 11pm, the station closes. Beautiful. And this is a good time to do cleaning duties. Okay, so, some people who actually arrived this morning weren't able to actually ever, you know, get on a train. There just weren't trains available. So, you can just go home now. Better luck tomorrow, maybe you'll be able to get into work or something. And now as a result of that, Taylor has got plenty of time to actually pick up all of this litter. Smith is recovering nicely. We have power generators on low fuel. That's absolutely fine. Smith will be back on the job momentarily. Taylor is just, yeah, picking some stuff up. Everything is good. In fact, Smith, I know you're off duty right now, but would you mind just doing a bit of refueling so we're set up for the morning? So yeah, the game basically is divided into stages. Overnight, you desperately try and fix everything that broke during the day, and then during the day, you just try and survive until evening. Okay, 5am. The station's going to be opening soon, presumably. Bins mostly emptied. All generators are now full upon fuel, enough for the day. There's a tiny bit of litter over there. We'll go and get that momentarily. Taylor needs a bit of a rest for the time being. She's a bit hungry, a bit thirsty. But yeah, hopefully that should soon be sorted out. Her despair is a bit high at the minute, but that's fine. If we just let her chill out for a second, she should hopefully be okay. Fuel! Every day at 6am, your fuel barrel is refilled for a small cost and your wheelie bins are emptied. Good. So our first customers start buying tickets and making their way to the platform. There we go. People buying tickets. Everybody nice and happy. Rush hour's coming in. Right, bring in the first train. Taylor, I think it's actually time for you to get over there and pick up that one bit of rubbish. 
Because, yeah, there is actually rubbish right now. So, seven people get off the train. A couple of people are going to get on the train, but it won't leave until it's full up. So, this will just clear out the first of the early morning bits and pieces. Taylor, 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 your one job is to pick up that bit of rubbish. I can see the rubbish, Taylor. Pick it up. And we have officially shifted enough commuters to move on to the next station. There we go, she figured it out. So, that's the absolute basics right there. Mission 1, nice and simple. And when I say nice and simple, yeah, you've really got to be on top of everything. Otherwise, uh, yeah, your happiness will actually start falling away very, very quickly indeed. You can go from fine to dead in a matter of minutes. So, on to mission two, and this is where my brain starts to explode, because uh, things just got a lot more complicated. So now, there are three different lines. One above ground, uh, but two are underground as well. Uh, and on top of that, yeah, there's now three entrances. So we've got one entrance over here, another entrance over here, but a third entrance that is again underground. People like coming through, I don't know, like a little tunnel under a street or something. So basically, yeah, everything's about to go to hell. So naturally we start off with the overground line because that's the cheapest to get set up. And you know, we don't actually have access to stairs yet. So we need to get that running and a bit of money coming in before we can start tunneling underground. But now it's time to actually start working on what makes the London Underground genius, which is a system of complicated one-way systems. I'm not joking, that's genuinely how the London Underground functions. You keep it all running one way, so people aren't bumping into each other. One way in, a different way out, keeps people moving. And as those of you who have been around a bit longer will know, I actually happen to be a genius when it comes to setting up one-way systems. So this is going to be absolutely beautiful. So to give you a simple example of how that might operate, on this occasion, we've got the in gate right here. So people who want to get down to the platform have to come down this little corridor. But people who are leaving don't go down that corridor at all, instead they come through here. Now let's not go nuts on lights or anything until we make sure we've got the basics down here. Because we're going to be needing, uh, yeah, a bare minimum of four in the way of generators, uh, together with probably a fifth pretty darn soon as well. So that's all going to cost money. And we're going to need basic tools as well. So probably best to put that in a nice central location. So if people need to change tools in a hurry, yeah, they can get to it no matter where they are. So I'd say actually, right here of this corridor, probably not a bad spot. Right, basic tools we're going to be needing here. Megaphone, of course. One litter picker. One jerry can. And one toolkit as well, just in case of breakdowns. And a handful of benches too, but watch out, because yeah, they're surprisingly pricey, so not too much of that. Okay, that'll probably do for the time being. I've still got a grand in my pocket, and I think when I actually open up a new gate, there'll probably be a bonus grand in it too, so open that up. There we go, bonus grand too, everything flicks on. Enough generators for the time being for the Luxie of it. Let's just actually double check on the power situation, by the way. Yeah, we got plenty of power for now, at least. So, uh, people are now going to start buying tickets, coming over to my lovely one-way system, and everything will be beautiful. And just to speed it up, yeah, I brought my staff with me. So, uh, Chloe, congratulations, you are now actually back on task. Though her despair's pretty high at the minute, so... Uh, Probably best we actually, yeah, just let her chill out for the time being. I suspect what's happened is, yeah, she's actually inherited the stat she had at the end of the last station. Well, the staff room doesn't need to be anywhere important or prominent, so we'll just stick that over here by the platform. Anyway, train number one comes in, people are buying tickets, people are alighting, people are naffing off again too. Taylor, how are you feeling right now? Taylor, 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 give me your stats. Right, despair is going down, so until she's needed... I'm happy for Taylor just to chill out for a bit. Though it probably wouldn't hurt to actually have, yeah, a third member of staff. Let's actually bring you in right now. So you, get over here. Yeah, apparently you are, you're good at repairs in particular. Yeah, everybody get working please. And actually Thomas can only do one thing. So Taylor, get yourself over here. Start yelling at these people. So they actually start, you know, hurrying up, buying tickets, all of that good stuff. Because we've got the afternoon rush hour coming up at some point. Still, plenty of people leaving, not too many people waiting for a train just yet. I need to start shipping as many people as possible as fast as possible. And yeah, people leaving who arrived, they count towards that number two, which is helpful. So I need bonds in order to unlock a whole bunch of stuff because, uh, yeah, I need to get up to 36 to unlock the next set of techs. 
Okay, let's go over to reputation here. So for the time being, some people think the price is a bit high, but other people think it's a bargain, so we're probably doing about right there. Some people concerned about overcrowding. There was a brief moment where we lost power, but I built an extra generator. So actually, everything seems to be under control for now, aside from the fact that, ooh, hello. Right, uh, Thomas, go and deal with that bin situation if you'd be so kind. And actually, speaking of which, we need to get ourselves uh, one wheelie in here, please. There we go. So Thomas is going to clear out that bin because that bin has ended up filled up for some reason. That bin's getting there. I'll send Thomas to go and deal with that momentarily. But yeah, for the time being, that bin is now good. And as a result of that, it doesn't smell horrible. Life is good. Seven people get off. Eight people get on. We are doing well here. This is all right. And as soon as Thomas is done with that, go over here and deal with this bin, because that bin's clearly getting close to full as well. Yeah, people, when they're leaving the station, they use that bin a lot. So that's probably a good spot for a secondary bin, just in case. Because, yeah, people who are leaving the station pass by the bins, they drop off anything they're holding. Oh, there we go, we've reached the magic number. Right, all the tanks in the world just opened up. So, uh, we can start getting staircases and whatever sorts down, but... I think the big priority has to be three carriage train, please. Yes, let's get that underway. More carriages as soon as possible. Ah, now this I want. Yeah, get my staff nice and happy, please, because I would like my staff to cheer up a bit faster. Let's just actually give them a nice TV in here. So you guys just sit in your chair, watch your TV. That should actually make you much happier, much faster. Did somebody just die? Who's dead right now? Hang on, there's... Yes, there is litter. I mean, it's blood. I suppose that is a kind of litter. And that's liquid mess. So in order to sort that out, we're going to be needing... Hang on. Over two tools here. I'm going to be needing a mop for this. And I can't afford a mop. Right, everybody just work around the blood for the time being. I can't actually afford a mop. In order to arrest this person, I would need a crime tool. Right, does anybody know what a crime tool is? Right, well, in the meantime, just actually summon some trains in, get off the platform, because maybe actually the criminal will get on the train, because if the criminal gets on the train, they won't be my problem anymore. So that will be really, really bloody useful. And I suspect people are going to get really annoyed about this whole situation sooner or later. I think he might actually be leaving the station. Oh, good, it's 11pm, we're kicking him out, that's nice. By any chance, did enough people just arrive by train that we actually pick up some points there, because... Oh, we're not... We're not actually going to do anything about the unconscious people. Right, well... <laughs> Alright then, fair enough, I suppose. Okay, Thomas is thirsty right now, and it's 3am, so you can have like four hours chilling out with some water or whatever before the next guests arrive. I think actually we're, we're mostly okay. There is admittedly the slight, slight issue of, yeah, there being two unconscious customers who we're not bothering to do anything with right now, but I'm sure it's fine. You know, we might actually want to bring in Adam at this point. It feels like this station's getting a bit on the busy side. And I did like Adam. I've got to assume Adam is... Adam, why are you sad? You've had, like, today off. Why on earth are you... You know what? Adam apparently needs to go chill out in this room, too. It would appear, as far as I can tell, that, yeah, people just actually don't relax while they're not working. To relax, they need to actually come into work and chill out in the relaxing room. So, fair enough, I suppose. Yeah, everyone's really annoyed about that whole body situation, which... I will deal with as soon as I can, okay? It is definitely high up on the to-do list. Now, is the priority getting them healed up or is the priority actually mopping up the blood? Probably it's getting them healed up, right. Who's good at first aid, by the way? Is anybody good at first aid? Right, Smith is quite good at first aid. Marvellous. There we go. He's got them straight back on their feet. Lovely. Needs a moment to just recharge his abilities. They actually get back up. Beautiful. There are now no bodies on the platform. There is still a little bit of blood. I should really be summoning a train right now, but that's fine. The train actually contains 12 people, so we should be able to pretty much clear out most of the platform immediately, especially as this is the rush hour stuff. Hello, what's your problem right now? You're lost for the time being, so staff can assist them with an assistance tablet, or you can build maps and help points. Here we go, level 1 map. So we can get that soon, but I feel like this person is just spectacularly stupid. This station is not complicated. You walk through the one turnstile you can walk through, it leads you down towards the bloody station, you bloody idiots. 
still, people now getting aboard, which is all beautiful. So that should hopefully be worth, yeah, as soon as some of these people check out through the leaving gate, that should actually be hopefully enough. Yeah, I think that's actually enough for us to buy, hang on, a mop to mop up the pools of blood. Right, Thomas, just get on with refueling the generators for the time being. Because I feel like, yeah, they're getting a bit on the low side. And someone has, uh-oh, someone has commuter rage right now. It happens when they're late, overcrowded, or when they see litter. And their anger meter rises as they get more negative experiences. And at max, they'll panic and freak out. Right, hang on. I've got a plan here. Taylor, you're good with a microphone. Please go and yell at that person so they don't freak the hell out too badly. No one else go nearby, by the way. I feel like this person's about to explode and start yelling. So there we go. Just do some nice yelling. Please don't punch anybody. Taylor, where are you going? No, nope, never mind. We've got violence. Violence has now broken out. Fine, can we actually do something about the violence on this occasion? Right, Thomas, go and get the new crime book or whatever. We're going to go and have a word with this person. Meanwhile, yeah, Smith, you just actually heal up and mop up any blood while we're just going to go and get that. All right, Thomas has got that. Thomas, no, no, Thomas, go and get the book. There we go. Now, go and arrest this person for being a dick. There we go. The criminal is now going to jail. In fact, they're taking themselves to jail, which is very generous of them. That saves me a lot of time. Okay, multiple people are now confused, so I think I'm going to spend my next point on the map to sort that out. Here we go, map, right in the center. So now you guys, uh, just, you know, figure it out, it's not complicated. And Taylor, I need you to get on with emptying these bins. We're almost at closing time right now, almost at closing time, but... Thomas just desperately needs a bit of time off to grab some food, grab a bit of a drink. Thank you very, very much indeed. Get on with all of this business. Right, this is all working. No, don't yell at them, Taylor. Taylor, come on, you know what you're supposed to be doing right now. Prioritise the bins, please. There you go. Right, 11pm, everybody naffs off. Good day, all things considered. We've got a lot of good upgrades there. And also, Chloe Taylor just levelled up. Well done. Ah, and strength is how many tools you're allowed to use. So if I get up to strength 5, uh, I should at that point, yes, give her a third slot. Spot on. Alright, people are happy. We got ourselves a rush hour. We got ourselves a massive train to deal with said rush hour. Everything should be absolutely A-OK. -okay. People seem to be... Ah, people pay money when they're leaving, apparently. That's... That's interesting. This is an alternative universe, London Underground, where you pay once when you come in and pay again when you come out. And you pay £10 both ends too. So yeah, this is a bit of a rip-off, to be honest. Still, nice quiet start of the day here so far. Just making some nice, easy ticket money. So just bring in another train. That's another 10 people paying £100 on their way out. Beautiful. Everyone else just gets in here. Yeah, we are definitely ready to consider expanding right now. So, uh, let's get over to infrastructure. A big old footbridge right here. Yeah, this seems fun. So, how does the footbridge work? Ah, I see. So, yeah, just go straight over the top right there. Okay, that's kind of cool. Ah, slight problem though. Buying land in terms of, yeah, just putting down basic materials. Bit on the expensive side, so... Uh, we're going to be needing some more ticket sales to fund that. Though, for the most part, this seems to be going pretty well so far. No sign of... Ooh, a little bit of rubbish, mind. Right, Smith, it's your time to shine. Though we do also have rats showing up, which people are not keen about, so we'll need to deal with that sooner or later, too. Ah, and some commuters are panicking because of the rats and are starting to actually flee. So, we might be able to, yes, run away, run away indeed. Luckily, they were nearby someone with a megaphone who calmed them down. Right, so we need to deal with that rat at some point. Gotcha. Deploy the rat prod. Right, much time later, I do mean quite a lot of time later, we're ready to go. I've unlocked a lot more tools like rat pokers and mops and ivy drips and diddly diddly dees. So, we've got enough staff to cover all of that. And I've finally expanded over here. And we've actually started making some decent enough money at this point. Because, yeah, now we've got two entrances, but still only a single platform. Though I am sort of interested in what would happen right now if I changed the platform to be both sides and why are people screaming. I think someone's just seen a rat. I'm sure it's fine. Here we go. Let's actually have, yeah, people being able to queue and then get off on both sides. 
which I'm not sure what that'll do, but it seems like a good idea to me, so we'll be doing that. Here we go, so bring in a train right now, and what's about to happen? Ten people are gonna get off, but are they gonna get off in multiple different directions? Yes, yes they are. So now they're getting off in multiple directions, and they're also getting on in multiple directions, which I think actually speeds up the loading and unloading, so... Did you guys try and get too many people on a train and as a result it broke? Because if so, I'm going to be very annoyed at you. Yeah, the train breaking down is pretty catastrophic. Because that just means, congratulations, you're just not making money for a while. And also, everybody hates you now. Also, people who are ill are the worst. Because they repeatedly refuse to get on trains. They just basically decide they're going to stand around in your station infecting everybody. And also, oh dear, hang on. My station reputation is, is taking a hit due to... Overcrowding, also fumes, and also this litter. Right, um, guys, emergency response, please. Emergency response. Clean the station. Okay, people are about to leave the station en masse on this train. Okay, that's good. That's gonna be good right there. Continue just sending more and more trains. And if these people with flu would like to naff off at some point, that'd be great. Because they just infect other people and then decide it's my fault. Oh, the station reputation's getting really dangerously low, actually, and I think it's entirely due to overcrowding. Okay, get in one more train, and also now there's rats. That's not going to help either. Does anyone know where the bloody rat is? I don't know. Some people are really annoyed. It's going to be 11pm soon. You know what? No, this train's not going anywhere. Go away, shoo, all of you, goodbye. Right, I'm going to open up this platform a little bit, just to create a bit more space for these people. But, yeah, okay... My mistake is the way I've done these turnstiles. The fact is everyone's clustered over here. What I need to do is extend out this platform a little bit. This is spending a bit of money, mind. Then I need to, yeah, actually build a few... Excuse me, Taylor. Did you just add trash to the garbage can? Please don't do that. That's not your job. Your one job is to reverse that process. Right, Everybody just fix everything for the time being. And then, yeah, if we actually just draw a few more people down over here, that might actually ease the overcrowding, though. Hang on. The problem is the train stops over here. So everyone's going to walk over to that. Ooh. Maybe I shouldn't have actually opened this bit over here. No. No, I probably shouldn't have done. Ah, part of the problem is, uh, yeah, cleaning rubbish down this end of the station needs to be carried to the wheelie bins all the way over here, which is no good at all because that's a really long walk. Right, I see the problem. Okay, everybody back to your posts. Piers, take your medical kit and your megaphone to the front area over here. Thomas, just go and fill up all the bloody generators. Smith, you stay over here, deal with vomiting and litter and whatever. And Taylor, you actually go to... Oh, there's trash right over there. Right, actually, guys, uh, go over there and deal with that, like, in a hurry before the actual punters show up, please. Because, uh, yeah, there's, there's problems here. Okay, so people are going to start coming in. There we go. That's better. Taylor... You stay over here, bring in the first train, like, immediately. So, Taylor just stays over here, and Sam, you go over there. Alright, I need somebody on litter picking duty on both sides, and I need Taylor nearby in case the train breaks down. Though, if the train... Taylor, Taylor, where are you going? Taylor, what are you doing right now? Whatever you're doing right now, you shouldn't be... Taylor, what are you actually... Taylor, where are you going? She's detected something she feels she needs to take care of, and I don't know what it is, but... Okay, she just wants to go and dump some trash over there. We've got a train ready to go. People cannot be upset about overcrowding just yet, because the rush hour is already over. They might be upset about overcrowding over here, but as soon as you just buy your ticket, there's a train literally waiting for you right now. If there's any trash, we take care of that. Okay, barely anybody is waiting for the minute. Pierce is just standing there yelling at them. They love that. Taylor's over here to deal with any trash the moment it appears. How many people are waiting for a train right now? Probably more than 12, but not much more than 12. 11 people about to show up and then actually pay me. So yeah, 12 spots available on the train right now. You guys just get in there. Let's get on with this, please. Because yes, it's... Ooh. Okay, 14, 15. What's going on? High prices. Uh, overcrowding. Good point. I can actually offset the fact people hate me by lowering prices. So I'm going to lower prices across the board back down to £9, alright? It means I make less money, but 
it will offset the fact that everybody hates me for massive amounts of overcrowding. Because all that matters in the end is you keep your reputation up. Doesn't matter how you do it, just as long as it happens. And you, uh, just get better at your job, please. More stamina so you can keep working for longer. Beautiful. Send in more trains. More trains. Just try and survive, alright? We're making decent money off the newspaper sales and whatever, and advertising prints that we've put up on the actual station right now. We just need uh, to not die. And also for there to be no disaster, like a sick person shows up and starts vomiting anywhere. Okay, so someone just showed up and is about to start vomiting everywhere. I hate this person. They're the worst person in the world because they'll never actually get in a train. They're just going to spend the rest of their day standing in my train station vomiting. So that means Smith needs to basically just follow them around mopping it up the moment it happens. That's his only job right now. Just follow this person around uh, mopping up the vomit. And uh, this person is late. So that's a late commuter. And uh oh, Taylor, get over here. There's clearly some form of rubbish, please. Get back over here. Oh, there's a lot of people still waiting for a train. Right, we need more trains uh, faster. Did the late person get the train? I think the late person got on the train, which is good. 13% and it's rush hour. Right, we're already behind and the evening rush just started. Sam Smith has run over there. That person's totally vomiting everywhere. Sam Smith is actually busy for the time being. All my staff are hungry and thirsty. We don't have time to give you a break right now. Where the hell is Taylor? Taylor! Get back to this side of the station, please. All right, Sam Smith, you just start mopping up all of the vomit and also uh, get on with cleaning out this bin before it starts to smell. Piers, get back over there and yell at these people. In fact, actually, you know what? Piers, get down over here and yell at the people on the platform because that's where the people are right now. There is a late commuter uh, down to 11% and falling. It's 7 p.m. We might be able to survive today, but only flipping just. We should be able to squeeze in. Come on. More trains, more trains, more trains. We should be able to squeeze in a couple more people today, but not much. Yes, I'm aware my station's reputation is getting very, very low indeed. Um, I'm trying to sort it out as best I can. As I say, the game's getting a bit on the manic side, and I think somebody's sick, and also there's a mouse somewhere. Oh, and the train broke down. And everyone's going to decide it's my fault and be angry at me, despite the fact it's blatantly not. And I think someone's just seen a rat. Where's the bloody rat? Sam Smith, get over here. Mop up this. Everyone's really annoyed because there's vomit on the platform. Again, not my fault. But where the hell is that rat right now? Rat, rat, where are you? Right, the rat's over there. Uh, Taylor, you're on rat duty, aren't you? Please go and exterminate rat before problems. Someone is vomiting, but Sam Smith is hopefully... Yep, Sam Smith is mopping that up. 6%. 6% of dropping, but it's about to be 11pm. Everybody get out of my station. No more trains for you today. Okay, so we're, we're not keeping up right now. We're not keeping up at all. But we did make a good amount of money today. Alright, I may be about to go bankrupt, but I'm not going bankrupt before I connect up one of these lines down here. So, working principle here. If you are actually on the platform, you must already be past the ticket barrier. Therefore, we don't need more ticket barriers down here. We just create ticket barriers up here, and then you can go to any line you choose. Because you don't pay when you change line on the London Underground. Once you're in, you're in. That's absolutely fine. So, we can actually have, yes, yeah, some stairs or something down in this direction... In order to get down over to... Uh, which do I actually want, by the way? Hang on, which is the best of you two? There's the central line, which has a huge number of commuters. Or the Piccadilly, which is less. Okay, we'll go for the Piccadilly then. Apparently that means less people. Also, all my staff desperately want a break. Fair enough, guys. Fair enough. And my staff are actually sobbing with sadness right now. Guys, it's fine. It's fine, I promise. Just watch some TV, you'll feel better. So, let's start lowering some floors here. So, we want to actually lower a bit of floor down to the level below here. So, we got ourselves, yeah, a beautiful, beautiful bit of track right there. Now, hang on. Do I need to buy all of this track immediately? Because I suspect to do. Yeah, if I want the Piccadilly line to actually run, I'm going to need to buy all of this. And that's, oh, that's, that's expensive, unfortunately. Yes. Here we go. So we've actually got ourselves a staircase here. And like everything else, you need to specify which way people go on it. 
So yeah, it has to be one way or the other. You can't have people pushing against each other on the stairs, which does happen on certain stations. Like I swear in Piccadilly Circus, there's plenty of stairs which are both ways. I think there's like a polite banister down the middle to divide people, but no one actually bothers using it. So they're being very strict with how stairs work. I'm going to use a second set of stairs to actually get down onto this here station. And then on top of that, hang on, what on, what on earth have I done with... There's just a wall here. I'm not sure why that's there. Yeah, I'm going to need a second set of stairs and £1,500 in order to actually make it over to here. Then probably about another grand to actually open up the line. And then, of course, I'm going to need to try and find a way to power it and staff it. Okay, probably a better idea. Don't try and do that excavation right now. Instead, uh, yeah, let's actually keep people nice and happy with food billboards and crisp machines. In fact, here we go. There is a small grant for building crisp machines, phone boxes, all that good stuff. So actually, I might be able to make a bit more money than I was expecting just by basically throwing up this stuff. And then maybe that'll keep people happy enough they won't actually riot and throw me out of my own tube station. In fact, hang on, those grants have actually just about given me enough that I can get the Piccadilly line working. Oh, please tell me it is. I think it might be, you know. Because I think getting a second platform down is also worth bonus money. And this track has... Hang on, what? Why? Why did we not... Hang on, what? So this one's a bit of a mystery to me. I actually have to build two platforms in order to finish. Until I build this platform, I've not won. But if I do get this platform down, I instantly win because I've already managed to ship as many passengers as I actually need to. I just need to get the second platform running. But the track has a gap or collides with existing concourse or rooms. Now, I've demolished every single room just to make sure it's not colliding with a the room. There are no more rooms. And I've repeatedly sold and rebought land to get rid of any glitchy walls. So I have no clue. I have absolutely no idea why I can't build a platform there. Now, I know that there is technically no tunnel right here, but that's because in this game you don't build tunnels. Tunnels are created by you raising and lowering land, but you can't lower the platform. That train line right there, the overground one, the one we've been using, that is fixed. It cannot be moved in any way. So, that can't be what's getting in the way. So, in which case, what is? Here we go. I've set the display to show me only minus level 1. So I own all the land on the rail and one square either side as you're supposed to. And then the only thing I'm missing is this land right here, which is directly under platform one. So there's nothing I can do about that. And unfortunately with 5% happiness and the fact I had to sell all my tools in order to get rid of the rooms. Because yeah, you can't move rooms, you can only delete them. And you can't delete a room until you've deleted everything in it. So I had to get rid of every single one of my tools in order to try and get the rooms out of the way. Yeah, I get the feeling we're not surviving today. So you know what, ladies and gentlemen? I think we're going to leave things off here. This here is Overcrowd and... Uh, it's a mixed one for me, which is a bit of a shame because I was really looking forward to this one. It needs a bit of work yet. There's definitely a good game waiting to come out. It just needs a bit of polish. First up, we could definitely do with a bit more of the way of tutorials, tooltips, etc. Because, uh, yeah, I've just hit this kind of brick wall here and I've no idea why this platform isn't willing to exist. Secondly, while I admire the fact it's difficult, I think it might be a little bit too much in the way of grindy on occasion. In particular, making money is very, very slow indeed, so it makes expanding the station a bit slower than it should be. I feel like maybe things could do with being a little bit on the cheaper side, or money comes in a bit more regularly. And thirdly, this is a fairly small one, but... I think there are just slightly too many tools. I feel like maybe, you know, the litter picker and the mop could be merged into one general purpose brush that handles both litter and vomit, like it was in Roller Coaster Tycoon, say. But yeah, right now there are nine different items that your staff need to carry around for various purposes. And I haven't unlocked the assistance tablet, the defibrillator, the taser, the watering can, so yeah, there's four more on top of that. It's a bit too much. I think that could do with a bit of streamlining. So yeah, an interesting one and a promising one. But to me, it just feels like it just needs a little bit of polish yet. We will come back to it later because this one's only just entered early access. It is still very much a work in progress. When it's done and ready for prime time, then I would like to come back and visit it again. But in the meantime, I've been John. There's been many a true nut. And this has been Overcrowd, a commute em up. Thank you very much and goodbye. I've created a small problem in my road system, which is uh, it's literally impossible for anyone to ever go back into town.
And this building shall be where we produce our zebras. And this much taller building next door is naturally where we produce the giraffes. Does anyone remember how the road system went? I think it was something like this.